So fitness and probity is one of the key issues that keeps getting raised with me again and again as I work at regulated firms around town. And particularly around people who are going through fitness and probity assessments getting called into the regulator for interview, which can be quite a scary, worrying experience. Jen, why is an interview with the central bank under fitness and probably such a stressful event? I think it's meant to be a stressful event. I think that's yeah. the idea. Um, it's freaking people out and spooking them because A, if they've already held a PCF row somewhere else, they're wondering why suddenly they're encountering a lot more rigor when they go for a new PCF role and yeah. not just filling out the questionnaire, but I'm being called in for interview and in some cases called back for a second interview, at which point most people are pulling out because they're like, I'm really uncomfortable with this. So it must be very stressful for the individual It's very involved. stressful because they don't, like, this hasn't happened a lot before. Yeah. You know, where the Centre Bank for the Fitness and Probity approval have brought people in for interview, so they don't know what to expect and they don't have many others that they can turn to and go, how was it? What yeah. did they ask you? So when there's no reference point Plus the consequences exactly. for being turned down yeah. are fairly severe. Yeah, and nobody, and that's why if they call somebody back for a second interview, they're, they're just withdrawn. Because and how are risk. firms trying to support people in that situation? Or are they trying to support people? I, I haven't seen much evidence because, to be fair to the firms, I don't think they know themselves what yeah. the individual is going to encounter when they go in. So I don't know if they feel that they're actually prepared to prepare the person yeah. to go in. So both for clients and candidates, it's a total unknown. And, and it makes them nervous yeah. because it's unknown. So we were spitballing this a little while ago yes. and we were wondering, well, you know, put yourself in the in the shoes of somebody who's going through F&P and now being called in for interview. Yeah. Put yourself in the position of a firm uh, that really does want to support their individuals who are called in because guess what? You might be in a senior role in the firm. You could be the next one called in. So again, you want to you wanna do your best by yeah. them. Uh, and we were thinking about how we could help these people. What exactly. did we come up with, Jen? So <laughs> we're going to do... Fitness and property mock interviews as part of a recruitment process. And our good friend Danny, <laughs> step in ex-regulator, <laughs> is yeah. going to provide a kind of a mock interview as part of the recruitment process. So from a firm's perspective, yeah. they have you kind of maybe for the final two candidates in the process going through a mock fitness and property interview. From the candidate perspective, anybody I've talked to about kind of just when we were kind of figuring this out and would it be a runner, is it a good idea? Yeah unreservably love the idea. Because loads of appetite, yeah. Loads, because they just, they're like, from a candidate perspective, like, that would be brilliant. I would love that, because I feel like, ultimately, if I got called in, I'm prepared. I kind of get a sense of what to expect. And from the firm's perspective, they're like, I'd love to have that insight through the interview and ultimately who we select for a role yeah. that's going for PCF approval that we've had somebody with at, at the CBI lens as part of that. So how it will work, we got this mm. right, Jen, uh, you kind of run the recruitment process up yeah. to you get your two candidates, and then... You kind of hand them over to me and I'm going to work with them, do uh, interview or FMP preparation in yes. the form of, of mock interviews yeah. separately with, with both candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, what that does for the firm then, it's part of their recruitment process, yes. part of their FMP clearance, which is obviously very important from the central bank's perspective. Yeah. Also helps them to form a view on which of the candidates maybe they prefer knowing uh, how they're going to perform or, or might yeah. perform in an FMP interview. It just helps reinforce their decision. You know, it might not yeah. change ultimately who they've gone with, but I think it gives them a lot more assurance knowing, actually, we've just put the candidate and ourselves through this extra rigor yeah. as part of us selecting ultimately who we're going to put forward to the central bank. So from my perspective, I find it a bit like playing a bad guy, a guy in a movie. Everybody likes to play a bad guy in a movie because you got to kind of go in and... <laughs> be nice to them. Put on the mask. Nice. Well, nice. you know, these interviews are serious things. And, I know. And the regulator, are. you know, the, the tone yeah. is quite stern and serious. So uh, when, when I do them, I try to go, well, yeah, I don't give people an easy time because you're not doing them any you, favors. I, look at that. And, yeah. and you're preparing them then ultimately for what's to come if they do get called in, which is yeah. the whole point that they actually get a sense of it. Yeah. Um, so no, I think anybody we've talked to about this from a client or a candidate perspective, they would love to have this yeah. as part of a recruitment Well, for, forewarned is forearmed. And exactly. I, even then from the other side, from the regulator's perspective, because we always like to think about things from a regulator's perspective, an employee's perspective, and yeah. a firm perspective. From a regulator's perspective, you know, no more than somebody interviewing people for a job. You want people who are well prepared for the interview, exactly. able to answer the questions, yeah. know what to expect, um, and and therefore you're getting through a more efficient and effective interview. At the end of the process, from a regulator's perspective, yeah. you want to know, are they fit and proper? Exactly. And you want them to perform pretty well so that you can draw that out, and if they kind of fall apart during the interview because they're not well prepared, they could be perfectly fit and proper, yes. but, but fall at a hurdle because they yeah. just weren't prepared. Yeah. And the regulator doesn't want that no more than the individuals nor the firms want that. Exactly. So I think that's another element as to why it is such a good idea to prepare 
for fitness and program interview. Yeah. So no, I think really happy. I think it'll be, you know, I, I, as I said, I know from talking to people, this is this is what they want. This will give them huge assurance on both sides of the table. Yeah. Um, yeah. In going for any new role that requires PCF approval. So to wrap it up, if you are a firm looking to hire, and you want to get access to this uh, fitness and program interview process. Work with Jen, get in contact with Jen through Savvy Recruitment. And as I said, uh, a question and Savvy Recruitment are working very closely to make sure the firms and in individuals going for roles are as best prepared as they can be for a fitness and probability assessment.